Howdy folks, welcome to episode 19. Today we're going to see if we can get all this stuff over to the... Did we, didn't we put the brakes on all these? We're going to see if we can get this stuff over to the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, you know what? This is not the brakes we wanted. Um, those are the ones that we wanted the brakes on. So we're going to put a connector on that and make sure that we've got that. You know what I need to do too is I need to do this. I need to do this so I can actually keep up with the train if I need to. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that these are connected. Okay, those are connected. Double check that all of our brakes are set and not set and all that. Yep, they're appropriately set and not set. Okay, so we're going to open controls for this. Let's get this out of here. Get this out of the way. We'll put this down here so you can see it, but I want to... Uh, be able to flip the switch once we get over that and we're going to take the brakes off of this whoops there we go we're going to let this roll down the hill let's so we can see a little bit better here there we go all right let's see what we can do here we'll just let this roll down the hill so the, today's goal is we're going to pick up um we're going to pick up these cars. We're going to go back to which we'll call it. We could leave those at the sawmill. We need a siding at the sawmill is what we need so that we can drop those off and not have them hanging on the hanging on the thing all the time. Um, but yeah, we're going to um, here should be able to. There we go. All right. But yeah, we want to we want to probably put a siding at the sawmill so that we don't have to deal with that stuff too. Let's see, we're let's try 50%. We're still speeding up. There we go. 50% again? No? Okay. <laughs> we're just going to have to play adjust adjust. Okay. We're going to have to adjust over and over and over. Okay, 3%. All right, let's do this, and we're going to hit this. Come in. All of a sudden, the brake is in the way. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's turn this regulator off. We're going to turn the brake off, and we're going to get all these brakes off. There we go. There we go. There and there. Okay, so everybody has... Brakes off. We'll double check here. There we go. Okay, cool. So. All right. Our reverser. I think we're going to leave the reverser on this for right now. There we go. We're going to leave the reverser on. Let's go up this way and we can watch backwards from the front, I think. There we go. All right, yeah, we're going to we're going to take it a little easy down this hill if we can. There we go. Let this do its thing. All right, and that thing is going to be that thing is going to want us to yeah, that thing's going to want to push us harder. Okay, looks like we're doing okay bring this down a little bit so yeah anyway yeah that's I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get it why don't we try to get a siding at the sawmill so we can put these cars off to the side and not have to drag them all the way up to the oil fields in order to do our delivery and then once we get this delivered we're also going to pick up I think we're gonna we're gonna look at the engines again but I think we're gonna do the cook we'll probably do the bigger cook because they have two of them now don't they we'll do the bigger cook and um, and however many oil cars. We'll see how many oil cars we need or can afford or whatever. So, seems to be a good amount on our brakes here. All right, let's make sure that our switches are how we want them. 
before we get there. We're still going 14. Okay, we're going straight there. These are the hopper cars. So those hopper cars are fine where they are. Yeah, everything else should be good back all the way back to the here to the sawmill 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 so yeah what we need to do is we need to put a switch in here and let that go out wider is i think what we're going to do um because i don't think we have enough room i don't think we have enough room over here to get a switch in we might be able to get a switch in there we'll have to check out but we'll see where we have room and where we can fit a switch in but we'll check that out once we get there because we want to put those off on the siding, and then we're going to, um, once we get those on the siding, we're going to do the, um, which we call it. Okay, we're going to let this coast. And we are probably going to want to put more brakes on these things. So, we'll see if we can do that. Alright, and we're going to want to go a lot more slow down this hill than we did last time. <laughs> right. Okay, and I think this is where, about where we hit the hill. Let's see. We're going to want to stay here. We're going to go like this. Come forward here. So we can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start picking up speed again. So what we want to do is we're going to use the brakes on the boxcars as our constants. See our constant brakes and then these we're going to adjust in order to keep our speed. Okay, and we're going to brake on this one and then we're going to um, see what we've got here. 6.2. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the three box cars is going to be good. And then these can adjust and we probably want to stay under seven or eight if we can. So we'll see if we can just to just till we get around that corner and then we can deal with everything else. It'd be really nice if there was a like everybody pull the brakes at the same time kind of thing. You know, you have to pay you have to pay for, for brakemen or whatever to do it, right? Alright. Go a little bit more here. Because it gets steeper here. Let's see if we can bring it down. See, we might, we might even be able to come to a complete stop if we want to, but we just want to take it easy around this corner, and then we should be totally fine to, to proceed from there. Whoops. Let's let it go a little bit more. There we go. Okay. See how that works. 6.1. Okay. I think we're going to be okay on that. All right. So we're going to let off the brakes off of these. There we go. And this will let us go faster. We're going to put our reverser on forward. Need to check our fuel on these two. Fuel? Yep, our fuel is fine. Okay. Just need to be careful about our speed here. We do have this little segment right here that we have to worry about. We're going to let the brakes do their thing, and then we're going to go full speed. Balls to the wall, right? I think it's balls out on trains. All right. We don't have any brakes. We might have to cut those cars. We'll see. But we might have to cut those cars in order to make it up the hill. Because we I think we were cutting it pretty close last time. And we have two more cars now than we did before. They are empty right now, but we still have two more than we did before, I think. I don't know. We might have had an extra lot. Do we bring... I thought we brought four of the logging cars last time, didn't we? Something like that? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. 
Let's see if we can make it. It doesn't look like it, does it? Alright. Um, okay. So we're going to have to run back here. I think, you know what? We might as well, since here, we're going to go like this. We're gonna we're gonna lock up three of these. Okay, I mean we're so close to the thing, but we're just gonna go like this, and then we'll uh, take our brakes off, and we should be able to go up the hill now. No, it's not gonna let me. Do we need to turn on the sander maybe? Are we just losing traction? Yeah, I think we might need just need to turn on the sander. Let's try the sander. Try the sander on Betsy. Sander. All right. Let's see if we have here. Let's go like this. Let's go the brakes. All right. Now we should be able to, whoops, should be able to take off the brakes. Nope, okay. Did Betsy run out of fuel? No, not yet, okay. All right, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna come back down the hill and we're gonna make a running start for it. So, we we'll use some brakes here. I don't wanna push too hard. Yeah, I don't want to push too hard on that. And we'll put some fuel into Betsy and stuff like that too before we go back up this hill. Or let's see. We're at we're still at six. Okay. We're gonna need yeah, we're gonna need some more fuel to get all the way up to the thing. Okay. Let's see if we can Here, let's go like this. All right, we're gonna do this. And let's get some, all right, there we go. Okay, so are we still, we're still not gonna make it? All right, let's stand, we're gonna stand back here and make sure that we're not gonna do anything crazy. Oh, you know what? That's why we had the brakes still on. Okay, now we should be able to move. Yep, we're doing it now. Should be able to get up this hill now. I think this is what we had to do last time, too. All right, so, yeah. It might even be nice to put a siding over here somewhere, too. On that little segment. For doubling. It's, it's better to... Yeah, it's easier to do doubling if you have a siding right okay double check make sure everybody's brakes are off that we didn't just sabotage ourselves in some way okay no we're still picking up speed too okay betsy has fuel class 48 has fuel okay cool there we go so we're gonna have to bring another engine up to do this Oh, it's cool. I saw uh, a video on why it's why they can why they like to put uh, the engines back to back. And the thing is, basically, um, when they're back to back, then you have two of them on the front. Uh, you know, two of them connected back to back. No matter which way they're facing, the one in the front is facing forward. And so you have like all the headlights and all that stuff. So that the one in the front, you don't have to turn them around. So basically, you can just um, connect them to either end of a consist. I don't want to use the right word. You can connect them to either end of the, the you know, group of cars, and it does fine. All right. We should be okay here. Good. We used to have a siding right here, I think, too, was where the other siding was. We could probably do that. 
just put them all over the place, right? Or just double the track and make a bunch of crossovers. It's another way to do it. Use use the switches to make a bunch of uh, you know switchbacks, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go right. And then right, okay, we need some more, need some more regulator on here. Okay, and then up here, what we want to do is we want to stop before we get to this switch, because somewhere in here we're going to want to, somewhere in here we're going to want to do, put in our switch. So we're going to take out like this segment of track here and put in a switch here. See, I don't think we can do it there. It's gonna to be too close. So I'm thinking if we put a switch right here, that that'll give us room to go out. And we'll need to switch this one so that this switch is on the other side. Okay, so let's try that. Did I put the brakes on that? I did put the brakes on it. Okay, I just, I don't want it rolling back down the hill because it's on a hill right now. Okay. Um, we're going to put a switch, and that switch is going to go off to the right. And we want the thing to be on that side, like that. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to delete this piece. And then we're going to put a switch to the right with the handle on the right. There we go, and connect it there. And that should all connect back up. Beautiful, okay. So there's our siding. We can get rid of this segment here, and we're gonna replace that with this. There we go. And then we're gonna put this here, we're gonna bring this around the outside, and then where do we want that to connect back in? It almost seems like it would be better down here somewhere, wouldn't it? Do we have a do we have a, a link somewhere? So we're gonna want a switch to the left. Yeah, like this. This goes really far, doesn't it? This goes way down there, doesn't it? I think it does, and it goes at like a 0.5. Okay, because we could put it there. We can make that, no, that's not gonna make much sense, and it's gonna be too short, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. What if we go like this? Yeah, I'm not sure that I want to do that. Let's let's check it out and see if we can find a good spot here to line this up. We're going to go like this. We're going to sit it. See, the trick is we want to sit it parallel to this. And we can't change the... Here, let's go like this. That looks about right. Okay, so we're going to try that. We're going to take care of this piece here. And then we're going to connect this. I'm not sure if this is going to connect or not. We'll see. See if it'll let me. There we go. Got that one. And then we need this one is going to be this piece. There we go. Okay, and we'll probably want to take out that tree because it's getting a little close here. We'll get rid of this one too. We're gonna to need to get rid of a few of these so we can see when we're going along this siding. I want to clear this out a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And then all we need to do is get this connected. So we're gonna go like, this we're 
I'm going to want this to go around the outside of this corner. Like that? Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. And we're just going to use however many segments so that we can make it nice and smooth. We want this to go about like this. You can bring this out a little bit wider. No reason to to make it super sharp, right? And then we're going to come back in. See, we could connect to there. If we connect to there, that, yeah, I'm not sure. We could even do an extra switch too. Why don't we do that? Why don't we hook another switch up here? We're going to hook a switch left. Is it going to be like that? Yeah. No, that, that doesn't make any sense, does it? No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we're going to demolish this one and this one. We're just going to make a long siding here. This is what we're going to do. So we'll get this to come in. There we go. We'll make a nice big sweeping curve here. And that should be able to connect. There we go. All right, and everything's going to be level except that last segment. So that looks pretty good. That looks nice and smooth. All right. And that'll allow us to do our thing here and drop off our cars. And I think what we're actually going to do, yeah. We don't have those cars on us right now, so we don't even need to do that at this point. But we're going to try running across our siding. All right, let's go like this. We're going to take this. There we go. All right, we don't need to go that fast. We don't need to go that fast. We don't need to go that fast. We don't... See, why is it doing that? All right. <laughs> Not sure why it uh, insists on doing that. Let's see if we, what kind of speeds we can handle around this corner. Seems to be doing okay. Yeah. That might be our bypass instead of... Maybe might be our preferred path, I think. It's a it's a smoother it's a smoother ride than the um, than the other one. Okay. So this is all going to be uphill from here. So let's go. Do it full regulator, and we make sure our switches are going the right way. Okay. Yep, our switches are set up right. Now what I did is I went in, in the editor and I emptied out the tools uh, at the oil field. I'll show you here in a second. Over at the oil field, show info, I deleted the tools so that we can deliver more tools. Because I don't want to have to drive halfway across the map to the other thing just to deliver the tools to the other thing. It just seems kind of odd that basically the way they've done that is like... They've tried to re reduce the usefulness of the boxcars, which I don't understand. But between that and the loading time, right? Between that and the, the eight minutes per car loading time, and you can only load one at a time, it just seems rather um, biased against... It, it's like whoever did that it was like, how can we keep people from using boxcars? <laughs> you know, that tree needs to go away, I think. All right, get rid of this, and we're gonna slow down on the regulator here. This is another one of those industries that's like at the, just at the top of the hill. I did a bunch of those, didn't I? They're right at the top of the hill, so you have to go full bore to get up the hill, and then as soon as you're at the top of the hill, you gotta suddenly stop, right? 
Okay. And I did adjust these. They should um, work better now. These should should work the way they sh they're supposed to. All right, we're gonna unload all this stuff. We can close. No, we don't want to close that map right now. Just move it. All right, so we'll get our box cars to unload here, and we'll get this that. Okay, so we've got zero tools. Whoops, just missed. There we go. All right, tools are going to unload. We're going to move this forward a little bit. There we go. Yeah, the tools are the first fairly decent money you make, but I think the oil is pretty good too. I don't remember for sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to move back a little bit. And then we should be able to unload this one. Un open the door. There we go. All right. Let's see what we've got. Yep, they're unloading. Okay, cool. And then we're going to move this up while it's unloading. Oh, you know what? We can unload the pipes too while that's going on. 24 of 30. Okay. 25, 26, 27, 29, 30. And I think it'll stop on its own. Yeah, it does stop on its own. Okay. All right, cool. And let's go like this. All right. Unload this one. All right, we got 64. So how much money do we have now? Yay, we have 8,800. 8, okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get beams up here. Can we get all of that past there so that we can get that on the siding? Because I kind of want to leave these cars up here. You know? At least the, the log cars. I do want to leave the log cars up here. So that we can load those. And we're going to want to bring beams, basically bring as many beams as we can up here. Okay, um, let's go like this, and we're going to put um, the brakes on this. I believe we are on level ground there, and then we're just going to use the siding here to move. We'll get up on the... We can put these up on the siding here. There we go. There, much better. All right, and we're going to want to flip this switch in a second. This one. Okay, reverser. Okay, and then we're going to go up in front of the, whatchamacallit here. I, we're not going to be able to leave that on the siding, are we? Okay. No, we're just going to take them down the hill with us then. Okay. We need to make sure that these aren't going to run into the thing too, right? No, it looks like we're good. The boxcars do go a little bit wider than the ties, I think. All right. So we're good with that, and we're good with this switch here. All right, cool. So we will go leave these down on siding. We'll go get the other ones. And then we can uh, buy our train. We need to see how much oil we have. We have 192. Okay. 192 at 12. Okay, so we can, we can basically load more cars than we can buy. Far more cars than we can buy. So we'll basically buy as many as we can afford. I think. And then we'll put whatever engine, we'll use whatever engine to, to pull them. And then we're also going to need to, um, we're going to need to get uh, the oil 
refinery opened up too, which is going to be our final challenge here. And that's actually going to be a little bit of a long haul. And we might even consider, instead of coming around this way, we might consider just trying to go over the hill. See if maybe we can get over the mountain. We'll do like a 10%. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe just go around that mountain real quick instead of over. But we might we might try to make a separate track instead of going all the way back, tracking all the way this way. Maybe making a shortcut around the side of the mountain here. We'll check that out. Because that'll be more fun to drive that way too. All right. We need some speed here. Because I think we are on level ground. There we go. All right, so we're going to need to... Yeah, we don't even need to buy the other ones. We're just going to put these on a siding. So we're going to go like this. We're going to put the boxcars back where we got them from. Oh, you know what? Stop. Go like this. Alright, we're going to flip this switch because we want to go around the inside and we want to put these here is where we wanted to put the box cars. So we'll need those switches like that. Okay. All right. Reverse. There we go. Okay. We should be good now. I don't think we'll even need any more regulator to get past all this. We should be able to just coast our way there. I'm going to let it coast and see what happens. If we go off the track, we go off the track, right? <laughs> it's wobbling a little bit, but it's not it's not too bad. Okay. Let's see where we are here. Okay. So we just need to leave these in the there we go, in there, off the fall. Out of the fall, whatever it is. Okay, so that's all of those. Um, we are going to want to put these, we're going to want to get these back. So why don't we back this up a little bit more so we can get our new train. There we go. All right, we're going to back that up a little bit more for right now so that we can get our new train through when we want to go. And that's going to go that way. All right. So let's go over to the, whatchamacallit here. There we go. Starting area. And let's see what locomotives we have. Because we want to get, I think we want to get the, the nice, the big cook. Let's see what we've got. There's also the Glenbrook is 7600. We've got a Heisler. I know I don't want the Shea because it's way too slow. There's the 260 with 11,000, and then there's the 280 with 13,000. I think we're going to do this one. I think we're going to do the Cook. And then we'll see what... Yeah, I like that. And then Paint. I think we'll try that. I think we'll try the number four. Okay, and then this is going to be number two and we're going to call this cookie and then our tender cookie all right and so that's going to be five thousand all right and then we're going to um, let's get our let's get our fuel going first and then we can worry about the buying the other ones while the while this is warming up all right there cool as much as i play on this it's like you can pretty much just uh <laughs> you can pretty much uh 
use all the fuel and waste fuel like crazy and still won't run out. Okay, so we're gonna re-rail this over here. Did I not, I didn't catch it. Okay, try that again. There we go, okay. Put the cook over here, okay. That's a good spot for it. I think it needs, yeah, see, it needs, it needs compressor. Okay, it needs heat before, before it can, uh, whoops, before it can do anything. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, and then we'll get the tender over here. And the tender, I don't understand why the tender wants to go backwards compared to the thing. There we go. All right, and then that's gonna go, nope, that's gonna go like this. There we go, okay. So we're just gonna let those coast They'll eventually stop, and then we're going to buy oil cars. There we go. And how much are those? Fourteen fifty a piece. Wow. Okay. And what is that over there? Oh, that's our. That's our. We're way over here. Okay. You can see the. You can see the engine moving. They have seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, they got a lot of paint jobs. Cool. Okay, we're going to. Do number one, whoops, number one order. And how much money do we have? Whoops, 32. Okay, so we can buy four more of them. Okay. We're going to get the rest of these. Whoops. We're going to do paint job number two. Call this number two. All right, and then we're going to go... Paint job number three, three, paint job three, whoops, and one more, two more, whoops, four, four, and four. We can only buy three of them? Did I, was my math that bad? <laughs> All right, re-rail. We're gonna take off the brakes too. Re-rail. You can do it. There we go. All right, re-rail. We're gonna put a thingy on the front. Uh, I forgot to take the brakes off. Now it's not gonna move. Yeah, see, it's not going to move. Okay. And re-rail. Tanker. There we go. Can do it. Did I not take the brakes off that one, too? I didn't. Okay. It's not going to move either. All right. Let's try re-railing it again. There we go. And then we're gonna re-rail this one. Did it take? All right, cool. Okay, so that should all be good to go. Where is our engine and everything? Okay, it finally took. Can we, there's the pin. All right, so brake is off, brake is off, all that stuff. Yep, boiler pressure, all right, cool. So we're going to go reverser. All right, and we're going to let these gently. We're going to let these gently uh, line up here. That's going to have to go on there. Okay see what we got here if we don't fly off the tracks there's one <laughs> all 
All right. I can't believe we can only buy three oil cars. That's terrible. We, yeah, we're gonna have to make a lot more money in order to, to buy more too. That's terrible. Okay. You know what it was is the pipes. I think we got a lot of pipes to sell. I still don't, I don't think that even those pipes are going to make us enough money. All right, we'll get these up to the, there we go. Okay. So everybody should be good here. Like this. All right. Let's do it. be cool if the if the whistle if you could see the steam coming out of the whistle as it as it went too all right what is the max speed on this is oh you know what i don't want to i need to turn that off because i'm going to end up using the controls on that i'm glad i just caught that because i would have totally uh screwed that up Let's see if we can open controls all right we're going to put this down here. We're going to get rid of this. Oh, uh, you know what? We need to make sure all of our switches are good, too. Current speed, 24. Nice. Okay, let's make sure all of our switches are the way we want them to go. We're going to go this way. This way. And then we're going to go around the outside. We're going to go up to this. And then we're going to go past the oil field. Okay, that's perfect. And then I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to figure out where we can come out of that in order to uh, in order to do our other thing. Okay, I'm probably going to want to slow down here. Going 25 around these. Yeah, yeah. Just in time, too. <laughs> All right, I, I swear I... That switch was the other way. Did I not flip that switch? I guess I did switch it the wrong way. Okay. All right, let's fix that. <laughs> We're just going to bring these up to the oil field, and then we'll we'll deal with everything else after this episode. But we, I just want to get these up to the oil field. All right. We need to get that past the switch. Brakes on this thing are, aren't the best either, are they? All right, so let's jump out. We're gonna re-rail this one. All right, and we're gonna put this, put our brakes on here. There we go. All right, let's back this up. Back it up. There we go. All right, we'll stand on this one. All right, let's fix our, whatchamacallit. Okay. Break, forward. Okay, we should be good now. Let's go back up here. We're gonna stand up here. But we stand in the front. We still didn't flip the switch. Get the switch. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're good now. It makes me wonder what other switches I screwed up, right? Okay, we're going to squish this down. I just want to be able to see my speed. There we go. We're going to go around the outside, so we should be okay. That's cool, though. If we can go 25 up the hill and stuff. What are the, what's the max speed on those 22? Okay. We'll try to stick to 22, then. But we can go considerably more than this. All the brakes are off. All the brakes are off. Okay. There we go. Better view. We 
just three oil cars is like a lot less than I'd like to. We're going to basically buy as many oil cars as we can, I think. We want to make a huge oil train, don't we? Nice. Okay, we should be good now. Nice. Let's see what percent we need to do to not hit... There we go. 15%. It's a good sign. We should be able to pull like 12 of these cars. The only difficulty with that is, or, or whatever, is that you basically you spend too, too much contiguous time loading when you have a really long train. next time yeah we're gonna fill this up next time so we're not gonna do that right now so that's gonna be it for episode 19 join me in episode 20 we'll get our oil things filled up we'll go over to the uh, we'll go over to the, the refinery and we'll open that up and everything and yeah so that'll be fun we'll see which which route we want to take and we'll see you then later